and it wasn't until my mid-30s that I actually started studying painting. But it was a path that came through graphic design. I went to design school uh, in Albany and uh, learned how to be a graphic artist. Finally feeling like this is it. And then after a few years of working in the advertising department, I suddenly decided, you know, I'm compromising so much because of other people's ideas and input that at the end of the project, I was looking at it and saying, well, what part was left that I did? You know, where's my piece? And so that was when I thought about going beyond the practical and actually finally exploring a different avenue. And I decided, you know, when I was in graphic design school, I got the opportunity to see the work of Edward Hopper and see the work of many other realist painters. And that really spoke to me again. It reminded me of things that I had felt when I was a kid. Um, and so I decided to study fine art and I took some painting courses. kinds of different things. Um, neon signage, nighttime, buildings in the landscape. Uh, I've done a lot on Cape Cod. I explored Cape Cod uh, eagerly starting in the year 2000. Often I don't think that I select a subject. I think that the subject selects me. There's a lot about color, a lot about light that just really excites me as a, as a human being and becoming an artist was my way to have the conversation with other people. I've had a, a great time painting places in the Capital Region. Things like um, old drive-in theaters, like the Tri-City Twin Drive-In, I've painted. The Malta Drive-In, um, right on uh, Route 9. Last year I had a show uh, in Saratoga during uh, track season, and I chose a lot of different amazing examples of the different types of architecture that exist in Saratoga and just tried to capture little bits of them to kind of share my love for the architecture and to also sense an appreciation of the creativity and the talent that went into making those and how the light plays off of them. I've been using the same palette for my entire professional career. It is simply six colors in white. I use two blues, I use two reds, and I use two yellows and that's all. And I find no reason not to use that same limited palette. The art of solitude is a phrase that I came up with in, in 1996 to help me better try and articulate what I felt I wanted to express through my artwork. And it's not about what could be the textbook definition of solitude, which is aloneness um, in, in a way of, of negativity. It was about a desire to be at peace and happy and able to be at peace and happy within oneself and being able to experience the world as we have to as individual units of human beings. All of those things that made me who I was, I wanted to be able to find a way to express that in pictures in a way that made sense to me and helped me understand myself better, but I thought could also lead to others seeing a little slice of themselves. That would be something that they could look at as I held up this little slice of life, and they could say, hmm, I remember that, or I, that speaks to me. And, and I thought that was one of the great things about art, and I still think that's one of the great things about art, is it allows us to have conversations even when we're not present. We can continue to have conversations, and that really excites and interests me.